हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टुडे आई विल बी कवरिंग फ्यू मोर इंपॉर्टेंट सम्स फ्रॉम फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप मैथमेटिक्स सेक्शन सी दिस इज फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड फोर वीडियोस सो इन केस यू हैव नॉट यर सीन देम प्लीज आई सजेस्ट यू सी ऑल द वीडियोस सो दैट मेजॉरिटी ऑफ योर कंसेप्ट्स विल बी क्लियर ओके फर्स्ट सम विल अपीयर ऑन योर स्क्रीन If the numerator of the fraction 40 upon 88 is changed to 15, then what will be the denominator? See, 40 upon 88, they want to change the numerator to 15. That is what they are saying. Then what will come here in the denominator? In these kinds of sum, whenever we have to compare one fraction with another fraction, you have to find the relationship of this numerator with this numerator or this denominator with this denominator okay anything will do now here they have given the numerators but 40 and 15 i cannot find the direct relationship which is easy to identify there is no easy relationship here in this case you reduce this fraction okay you reduce this fraction to the Uh, most reduced form of the fraction that will make your job very very easy so let's do it i'm dividing both the numbers by 4 so 4 tens are 4 twos are 4 twos are see now i can find out 5 twos are 5 threes are so this is 11 twos are so 11 threes are will come here but in case you cannot identify this don't worry still reduce it further Two fives are two ones are two ones are. So we are getting new fraction as five upon eleven. Now can you find the relation? Yes, it is into three or multiplication by three. So let's do the same thing here. Into three. So our answer is thirty-three. Thirty-three will come in denominator. Okay. Let's go ahead. Next sum will also appear on your screen. Five meter plus twenty-five centimeter minus seven fifty millimeter is equal to what? See, students, I have written the sum on the board. This is what they are telling us to find out. See, you are nothing but the addition and subtraction of the various units of length: meter, centimeter, millimeter. Here you are expected to know the relationship of meter with centimeter and centimeter with millimeter and so on. If you know that very well, this sum is going to be very very easy. Okay? See, I would suggest you write that, like this in rough. At the time of examination, you have no time to draw and all. Just do this thing in rough so that the mistake won't be there, or the probability of making mistake will be very very less. Okay? Five meter. So I am writing five here. Now centimeter. How many places are available for centimeter we cannot give any number of places here okay centimeter millimeter they have specific places because they are smaller than meter highest one has no issue but the smaller units they have a limitation so what decides that the relationship of meter and centimeter one meter is 100 centimeter 100 has two zeros so centimeter can have only two places so plus 25 cm i can write here because 25 only two digits so okay okay i if you want you can replace this by 00, 00. now please be careful students here this is addition here this is subtraction sometimes by mistake you'll add on and that option will be there so please be careful okay addition very simple 525 now we need to minus 750 mm that is millimeter how many places can we give to millimeter again relationship of centimeter and millimeter we decide that 1 centimeter is 10 millimeter 10 has only one zero so millimeter can have only one place but here there are three digits what can be done start from last Zero can come here, no issue because one digit. Seventy-five, we have to shift it here. That is why I am telling you to draw this. 
because students get confused okay so zero only one digit can come here 75 i have to shift to centimeter side and then minus once you do this job is very easy okay you can replace this by zero if you want zero 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 then normal subtraction four then this is twelve this acts as a decimal this is anyway zero so no problem our answer is four meter fifty centimeter or four point fifty meter anything both are same if you want to convert this 4.50 into centimeter, centimeter तक जितने digits है, these 450. So this is 450 centimeter. If I want to write millimeter, millimeter तक जितने digits है, 4, 5, 0, 0 millimeters. So it becomes easy if you write like this. Okay? Till your concepts are clear, I suggest you write like this. So you will know how many places we need to give a centimeter, millimeter and so on. Okay, let's go ahead. Next sum will appear on your screen. What is the perimeter of the given figure? If the area of square ABCD is 25 centimeter square and the length of the side AE is approximately 7 centimeter. Students, I have drawn the figure on the board. What are they saying? The area of this square is 25 centimeter square and this a E is 7 cm and all these sides are equal. Okay. So, what is our job from area? Let's find out the perimeter because we need to find out the perimeter of this figure. So, for that we need side. Okay. Side, how can we find out? This is side square. So, the square root of this that is 5. 5 cm will be the side. Once we get this, all these sides are 5 cm. So it is very easy now, right? How many sides are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and this one, 7 cm. We don't have to take this line because that is inside. When we find out the perimeter, we need to concentrate only on the outer border. So let's do it 5, 4 times. That is 5 into 4 plus 7. Board mass first is 20 plus 7. That is 27 centimeter. You can just add also 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7. So 27 centimeter is the perimeter. Let's go ahead. See this is an exam. 1.3 hours is equal to how many hours, how many minutes. Many times I have seen students saying that this is 1 hour 3 minutes or 1 hour 30 minutes. No, this 1.3 hours, this is written in decimal form. This is not 1 hour 3 minutes or 1 hour 30 minutes. No, this is 1.3 hours. So there is no tension as far as this 1 hour is concerned. We are more worried about this 0.3. How to convert 0.3 into hours? Very, very easy. See 1 hour we can straight away write 1 hour. There is no tension. 0 0.3. 0 0.3 means 0 0.3. This 0 I am writing because this should be visible. Decimal. That's right. Okay. So this is 3 upon 10. If any hour. See 0 0.3 is also hour. Hours. Right. So if we want to convert any hour into minutes. What do we do? We multiply by 60. Same thing we need to do here. Because we want to convert into minutes, right? So multiply by 60. 60 is upon 1. So 1, 0, gone. What is remaining? 3 into 6. 18 minutes. So here it should be 18 minutes. Isn't it interesting? Please don't make that mistake of saying 3 minutes or 30 minutes. Convert that by multiplying by 60. Okay? Chal. Aage badte hai. Students read the next sum properly. How is the number 69 crore 45,803 written in figures? Whenever they tell you to write any number, please be careful. If you are not confident, I suggest you write this. Units, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakhs, 
10 lakhs crore 10 crore right and then go ahead 69 crore so this is crore side so 69 will come here 45,000 thousand these two places so 45 will come here 800 8 here hundreds place and 3 and write zeros in empty spaces your answer is ready and you can be 100 percent sure about your answer Just okay chalo let's go ahead students have written the next sum here they have given us something some uh, decimal fractions and they are telling us to add and subtract please be careful don't just go on adding huh? by mistake what happens you add this and then again you add this their subtraction sign is there you cannot ignore that okay only one instruction here students decimal ke niche decimal so nothing to be done in horizontal way always write that in vertical form first 3.28 7.3 5.03 decimal has to be one below the other that is the must first we will concentrate only on addition so I am rubbing this first we will add if you want you can write zero here add addition is very simple normal addition nothing great in that then you minus 5.03 now once you follow this point wala uh, instruction subtraction is normal 8 minus 3 5 5 10 minus 5 5 so this is the answer very very easy i have included this sum here in this video because i want you to pay attention to this rule point ke niche point okay let's go ahead next sum will appear on your screen 25 ml of oil leaks every hour from an oil can. There is 15 liter of oil in the can. How much oil will remain in the can if the leakage is from 10 am to 2 pm? So much of wastage of oil, isn't it? From 10 am to 2 pm. Oh my god, so much oil wastage. First we need to find out number of hours or total time for which the leakage was there. It is very simple here with the help of fingers also you can find out 11, 12, 1, 2, 4 hours. So it is 4 hours. If you don't know then you have to write like this. Later wala time minus pehle wala time. Now this is 2 is small so you add 12 to it. So it becomes 14.00 minus 10.00 then you will get 4 hours. But here it is very simple no need of writing all this with the help of fingers also you can find out. Okay. So 4 hours and every hour how much oil was getting wasted due to leakage 25 ml. So 25 ml per hour into 4 that is 100 ml wastage of oil. Right. Now, total oil is 15 liters in the can. This is ml. So, let's convert this into also ml. So, 15,000 ml. Out of this 15,000 ml, 100 ml is gone. Wastage, right? So, wastage hume minus karna hai. Right? If you want to convert this into ml, and liter, I mean liter and ml, then we need to leave three spaces and decimal will come here because nothing should be done mechanically students. Why? Here only, why not here? Ask yourself these questions and find out the answers. See, relation of one liter is equal to thousand ml. Thousand has three zeros, that's why three places and here. Basically we are dividing when we want to convert ml into liter, we divide by 1000. That is what we have done here. 14,900, if you divide by 1000, you will get 14.900. But I am telling you this in a very simple way. The relation is of 1000, 1000 has 3 zeros. So, 3, zero, uh, three places ke baan decimal de do. 
then it will be converted into liters. So our answer is this. Very easy, interesting, right? Chal, aage badte hai. Next sum. What is the profit on selling 300 bananas at rupees 40 a dozen, bought at rupees 200 per 100 bananas? How many total bananas are there? Three hundred. What is the rate? Rupees two hundred per hundred bananas. Right? So he will have to pay two hundred, two hundred, two hundred three times because he wants three hundred bananas. So total cost will be two hundred three times. Then only he will get three hundred bananas. So rupees six hundred is his cost. Now let's see what he is doing while selling. He is selling those bananas, all bananas at the rate of rupees 40 per dozen. Now here we should convert this 300 into dozen. Because while selling he is converting this 300 bananas into dozen and then he is selling. So let's convert. One dozen is 12. So 300 upon 12 that is 25 dozen right when we want to convert 300 bananas into dozen we need to divide that 300 by 12 so 25 dozen 300 bananas and 25 dozen are same there 25 dozen is 300 bananas only okay so if he sales all this 25 dozen at this rate rupees 40 per dozen he is going to get rupees 1000. He spent from his pocket rupees 600. He got this much money, 1000. So he is earning more. So obviously he has got profit. How much it is? SP minus CP. So answer is rupees 400. This is our answer. Very very interesting and very very simple as well. Right? Chal. आगे बढ़ते हैं। 13 persons on the dais shake hands with each other. What will be the maximum number of shake hands? Very very interesting sum. I am going to share a trick with you here. Students, whenever there is a sum about shake hands, how many shake hands are possible? How many matches are possible among these many players? Something like that. Then it is a sum of triangular numbers. Students, you are supposed to know at least 10 triangular numbers. If you know more, 15, 20, nothing like it. In case you don't know what is the meaning of triangular number, please see my video on types of numbers. There are two videos. It will be really helpful. Okay. Let's go ahead. See how many uh, people are there or persons are there? 13. What is your job is very very easy. What you are supposed to do? See I am sharing a trick here. 13 minus 1, 12. Find out the 12th triangular number. That will be your answer. In case you don't know, now I will just tell you how to find out the 12th triangular number. You are supposed to memorize them. So no need of doing what I am doing right now. Okay. If you don't know then at the time of examination you will have to do this. All these numbers you need to add. Answer is 78. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, 45, 55, 11 I missed out here, 55 then 66 and then 78, here it is, isn't it easy, add all the numbers from 1 to 12, then you will get the 12th triangular number. How did we find out 12? Total number of persons minus 1. That's it. Hey, easy. 
ओके चल आगे बढ़ते हैं स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट सम आई हैव रिटर्न ऑन द बोर्ड सी वन इज गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रैक्शन वन इन डेसिमल फ्रैक्शन सो वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट दिस इनटू डेसिमल और दिस इनटू फ्रैक्शन नाउ आई एम शोइंग यू दिस इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द ऑप्शंस इफ दे हैव गिवन ऑप्शंस इन डेसिमल फॉर्म यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस इनटू डेसिमल एंड वाइस वर्सा सो लेट्स डू इट 8 अपॉन 10 मींस 0.8 ओके वन के बाद कितने जीरोस हैं वन जीरो सो वन नंबर आएगा पॉइंट के बाद ओके माइनस जीरो पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ सेम रूल पॉइंट के नीचे पॉइंट एंड डू माइनस यू कैन ऐड जीरो हियर इफ यू वांट सो इट बिकम्स इजी ओवर दिस इज आवर आंसर इन केस आई वांट टू शो दिस इन अदर वे conversion of this into decimal uh, fraction so 8 upon 10 will remain like that and this is 25 upon 100 now we need to make this 100 so multiply this by 10 or just add one zero and one zero means we have multiplied by 10 so now we can bring them together 100 so it is 55 upon 100 55 upon 100 is same as 0.55 so answer won't change right but this is in decimal this is in fraction that's it okay i have shown you both the ways so that depending on the options given to you you can apply this or use this method okay students we are through with this important question wala video see i have told you earlier there are four more videos i have already uploaded i am going to give you the link in the description box as well so please please see them they will be useful okay students i will come with the next video very very soon till then study well and very important thing is absolutely correct enjoy studying bye